We'll get started and we'll let more people in as we need to. So today we are going back 250 million years. That's a really, really, really long time ago, 250 million years ago, when the, the earth was one giant mass of land. There weren't all the different continents like there are now. And dinosaurs, otherwise known as terrible lizards, roamed the earth, okay? So we're gonna learn all about dinosaurs from way, way, way back. And back when, when dinosaurs roamed the earth, it was really hot everywhere. Even in Antarctica, it was hot. So we wanna make sure we have our water because it's gonna be hot during our warm up and during our workout. Okay, are we ready? Okay, so for those of you that don't know, I'm Coach Tiffany. And this is Maddie. She's going to be doing a lot of the demonstrations today. So we are going to start with our warm up. And we're going to start with our march. Get those knees up nice and high. Let those arms go. Good. We've got to get our blood pumping through our whole body. And that's going to warm up our muscle. And you know, we're warm blooded animals. So our blood can help us get warm, but dinosaurs were cold-blooded animals. So they relied on the sun and the air to keep them warm. Okay, let's reach and pull. Good, get those knees up, really pump those arms. And let's squeeze like a tree. Good, and now we're gonna pull our heels to our rear ends. Dinosaurs like, a lot of dinosaurs like to eat off trees. The herbiv herbivores, they were the, the plant eating. Okay, now pull those elbows back, reach and pull, squeeze those elbows together, big steps. Pull, reach and pull. Reach and pull, you've got it, good job. Good, and let's freeze like a, like a tree. Good, now we're gonna go tick tock side to side. Get those arms and legs going. Got some more friends joining us. I'm excited about going back 250 million years. It's a long time ago. I don't think there were iPads back then, or computers, or Zoom. Okay, and freeze like a tree. Nice, works. We did the front of our body. We did the back of our body. We did the side of our body. Now we're gonna do the bottom of our legs, all the way down to the ground, and reach up all the way on your tiptoes to the ceiling, as tall as you can, nice job. And all the way down, and reach up to the sky. Oh, we're like the really big dinosaurs. All the way down and reach up to the sky. Good. And all the way down and reach up to the sky. Nice. Let's do one more. All the way down and reach up to the sky. Oh, good. Now let's take our big arm circles. Okay, so we talked about how the earth was hot and really dry everywhere when dinosaurs roamed. Guess how many different types of dinosaurs they think there were? Go ahead and reverse the other way. 800 different types of dinosaurs. And do you know how they're figuring that out? Um, Take a big breath up. And exhale it down. Yep, they find out about, what, about the dinosaurs as fossils. Big inhale up and exhale it down. Fossils of the eggs. Fossils of their bones, fossils of their footprints. One more big breath up. And exhale it down. Okay, so we're gonna go back all the way 250 million years ago. Dude decided that he wants to be a paleontologist. He wants to use the fossils and the bones to figure out everything about dinosaurs. You know something that he found out before we go on this journey? Dinosaurs were not the first animals to roam the earth. There were reptiles before the dinosaurs. But let's go back, let's go, let's go meet some dinosaurs. What do you think? 
Okay, we're going to go all the way back to the Triassic period when there was one big landmass, not all the continents that we have now, and two oceans. And this is, we're going to go to the Triassic period. Oh, wow, that's awesome. We're going to go to the late Triassic period to the Eraptors. Eraptors. Okay, so these were, you know, I always thought dinosaurs were really, really big. But it turns out these dinosaurs were actually like kind of little itty bitty. They were only about three feet tall, only about three feet tall, and they only weighed about 20 pounds. Look at that guy. Look at how cute he is. And you want to know something really, really, really fast about him or really, really good about him? He was really, really fast. So we're going to run, and his legs kind of went backwards. So we're going to run with our heels to our rear end. He was able to run really, really fast. Let's try running a little faster. Let's see if we can run fast like the raptor. Oh, and let's slow it down again. Slow it down a little bit. Up, I think we need to find something to eat. Let's go a little faster. Keep going like an raptor. Oh, and let's make it a little bit easier. Make it a little slower. He got that food. He's going to eat it now. And one more time, really, really fast. Really, really fast. Oh, those are going to raptors. Oh, good job, you guys. Are we ready to meet another dinosaur? I think we are. This one's much bigger. This one's 700 pounds and 20 feet long. Look at that guy. He's huge. His name is the Herrerasaurus. So cool. And he's bipedal, which means he goes on his back legs, not walking on his front ones, too. We're going to walk just like him. We're going to lunge one leg forward and bring it back. Another leg forward. Good. 700 pounds. That's big. That's really big. And 20 feet long. Well, I, I think the reason why he goes on his back is because he has short, he has short little arms. He has kind of got a funny little shape, doesn't he? A big tail and a big body. And he was a hunter. So he was a carnivore. So he ate other dinosaurs and other animals. <laughs> there were herbivores and carnivores and omnivores. All right, let's do a couple more lunges. One more each side. Good job. Excellent. Oh, that was so cool. I think we need to move on to the Jurassic period. And the Jurassic period was 200 million years ago. That's a really long time. It went from 250 million to 200 million. That's a Jurassic period. There were tons of dinosaurs roaming the Earth then. And we know a lot more about these dinosaurs. The first one we're going to go to is a really famous one. Let's put it on and see if anybody knows what it is. Who knows what that is? Who knows what this one is? I know what it is. It's a Brontosaurus. And you know what Brontosaurus means? Thunder. Thunder. So when it walked, it made lots and lots of noise. All right, so we're going to go down onto all fours. We're going to do a big giant squat jump and come back down. So we're making lots of noise like the Brontosaurus did. Jump up and your squat jump. Big jump and land it down. Good. And he was also a quadruped, meaning that he walked on all four legs and he had super long neck and a super long tail. Really, really big. He looks huge, doesn't he? Let's do five more jumps, jump squats. Five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, good job, everybody. Let's take a big high five. We're going to stay in the Jurassic period. I think we should meet another dinosaur. What do you think? Hi, Brontosaurus. Hi, Brontosaurus. Oh, look at this one. What is that? Is that a 
ever seen that before? It's named the Coil Fithis. Yes, it's a crazy looking guy. He was really short. He walked on two legs. And he was also a corner carnivore. And he kind of leaned forward when he ran really fast. So we're going to straighten our legs behind us. And we're going to run like this guy. Oh, he looks fast. So the Brontosaurus was on four legs, and the Coleophysis, he walked on two. He kind of ran, though, too. Oh, keep going. Let's run fast. Oh, the Jurassic Cruise, pretty cool, huh? Let's go five, four, three, two, one. Oh, whoa. I think I'm ready to meet another one. What about you? So did you know that dinosaurs were relatives of birds from nowadays? And this is one of the ones that it started with. See this guy? He's the Archaeopteryx. Archaeopteryx. Yes, Pteryx. And that means ancient feather. This was the first feathered dinosaur. And he had big wings. We're going to take our arms out, squeeze our shoulder blades together to make our great big wings, and back together. And we're going to exhale and squeeze and release. So this is how, how dinosaurs are still here today, because they're like birds. And this bird, though, he's a little bit different. He was a dinosaur more than a bird. Looked like a bird, but he didn't have a beak. He had a huge jaw with really sharp teeth. Good. Let's squeeze that together. I thought dinosaurs were just reptiles. They're also birds. Well, well, yeah. Squeeze it back. And back. Let's do two more. Keep those chins up. Chins up, chins up. Make those really, really, really big wings. And release it. Oh. I think we're ready for another one. What do you think? We're still in the Jurassic period, right? <laughs> yeah, lots of dinosaurs in Jurassic. <gasps> Look at that one. Look at that. That's a Diplodocus. Diplodocus. And he's huge, but he was an herbivore. So he ate mainly, um, he ate mainly leaves and plants, and he would eat rocks because that would help digest the, the leaves and the plants. Would you eat rocks? Yeah. I don't think, think so either. And he was on four legs. He was on four legs. He had a long neck and tail. He, he ate, he ate kind of like giraffes do nowadays, but he was breathing like a bird. All right, so we're gonna go, we're gonna make our big neck and our big tail we're going to take one arm out and the opposite leg and we're going to make that long neck and that long tail and back down and now we're going to make that long neck and long tail with the other arm and leg and back down and reach all the way make it really really long and back down and he has that big long neck so he can get at the top of trees and wheel around to get all kinds of different plants Reach all the way out, make it really long, and back down. Reach out really long, and back down. Reach out, and back down. There were a lot of dinosaurs that they know about in the Jurassic time, huh? Reach, and down, and reach, and down. Let's do four more. Three. Two, and one, good job. We're gonna stay down on our all fours with this next one. You know what this one's called? This one's called the Allosaurus, Allosaurus. And you know what that means? Different lizard, and you know why? Because he had a really, really strange shape of his back. See how his back is? It's like if we're on all fours and we arch our back all the way up, kind of like a camel, Put our chin in, 
Make a big rounded back and release it. That's just like the Allosaurus. Now release the chin up and now arch it back up like an Allosaurus. Really, really big. Keep going. Good. Release it and lift your chin up and arch it up again. Now, not only does he have a really strange concave vertebrae or this big arch back, go ahead and release it. He also is a big predator. He, he hunted and he chased after other dinosaurs, lifted up. And just like lizards nowadays, he grew, when he grew, he shed his skin and it replaced his, and replaced his teeth all the time. So he got bigger and got new skin and lost teeth and got new bigger teeth all the time. Go ahead and release it. Let's do a couple more. Make that big Allosaurus back. Big, big Allosaurus back. And release it. Good. One more time. Big Allosaurus back. And release it. Very, very nice. Whew, we're still going to stay in the Jurassic period. What do you think? I'm excited about this one. I'm really excited about this one. This one is called the Megalosaurus. That kind of sounds like a transformer, doesn't it? The Megalosaurus. The Megalosaurus is big and he was strong. He was like 20 feet tall. And Megalosaurus meaning giant lizard. He was bipedal, so he used two legs only. And he had super, super strength. We're going to do our squats. We're going to go down like a Megalosaurus and back up. And we're going to go down and back up. Push your booties back and lift it up top. Now, this time, let's make our arms just kind of little like they did. Our arms are out in front of us. We're not going to reach them out all the way. We're going to make little, little Megalosaurus arms. He was really strong, but he didn't have very big arms. Push that booty back and back up. And push that booty back and up. It seems like the Jurassic period had lots of really big dinosaurs, doesn't it? I think that's why we always associate really big dinosaurs, because we know so much about the Jurassic period. Let's do two more of these. Oh, you guys are awesome, Megalosaurus. And down and up. Whew. Okay, I'm ready for another big one. This one's called the Apatosaurus. 75 foot long. 75 foot long, that's like a third of a football field. That's really, really, really long. And 22 tons. That's huge, big, big, big. Okay, and he was like 15 feet high. 75 feet long, 15 foot high, and 22 tons. That's really big. And he had this giant tail that he would make sonic booms. The biggest noises you ever heard. So we're going to make some sonic booms of our own with star jumps, okay? Let's do 10 star jumps just with the big tail of the Epistosaurus. There we go. All right, let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, great job. Well, let's shake that out a little more. I thought we can do 10 more sonic booms. How about you guys? Can you do 10 more sonic booms? I think you can. I think you can, Yob. I think you can, Mason. All right, are you ready? 10 of them. Let's get ready. Count with me. I want to hear. I want to hear it like a sonic boom. Okay, get ready. Go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, high five, everybody. Okay, now before we go out of the Jurassic period and into the Crustaceous period, let's get some water. It's hot out here. It's hot and it's dry in the desert. And we are ready to move on. So the next period, 145 million years ago. We're getting closer, but it's still a really long way away, right? 
Okay, so now Africa has detached from South America, and there's a seaway between the North and South Atlantic uh, Ocean. So now things are spreading out a little bit. So dinosaurs can't just get from one side of the world to the other by walking anymore. So things are changing a little bit. So the first one we're going to learn about is called the Iguanodon. Iguanodon. That one's hard for me to say. Kind of like an iguana. Actually, we're gonna we're gonna go we're gonna go all the way to the what? The Spinosaurus. So the Spinosaurus. We're not doing the the iguanodon. That's I we changed my mind because I don't they don't know how to say it very well. So we're going to the Spinosaurus. And the Spinosaurus is 60 feet long, as large as a T-Rex, as large as a Tyrannosaurus Rex. And it is a really good fisher and swimmer and a general predator. So guess what we're gonna do? Oh, you wanna know what else? It has webbed feet, it has webbed feet. Okay, so we're gonna start all the way down on the ground and we're gonna alternate our arms and our legs like we're swimming. Alternate the arms and legs. Keep swimming. Oh, we're good swimmers. We're catching some fish too. Are you catching some fish? I am. I'm getting lots of fish. Alternate those arms and legs. And I think those guys look kind of like an alligator or a crocodile, don't they? So they probably have really strong strong upper body, their front, their front legs. So we're gonna go into our push-up position on our knees, lower our chest down with those front arms and lift it all the way up. And all the way down and up. Down and slowly up, use those muscles. If you can go on your toes, go on your toes. Maddie and I are going on our knees. Let's do two more of those push-ups. Oh, excellent. Let's swim again. We're going to swim, try to get some more fish, and alternate those arms and legs. Keep swimming. Let's go for 10 more. Eight, six, four, two, and release. Let's do 10 of those push ups. Just like this really strong Spinosaurus. Look at that big spine on his back. Isn't that cool? He probably looked like a shark when he was swimming. Right? I bet that stuck out of the water. Okay, let's get those strong front arms. Down and one. Down. Two. Down. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job, everybody. Let's do some high fives. And what was that one called? You remember? Spinosaurus. Spinosaurus. Let's hear you guys say that. Spinosaurus. Spinosaurus. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so now we're moving on to the late Crustaceous period, and we're going to another one that's similar to a bird. And this is actually when birds started evolving. We started seeing birds in general out with the dinosaurs. And the first one, we're going, oh, look at this guy. Whoa, I've seen him before. He's the Velociraptor. Velociraptor. And he was like a dog size. He looks way bigger and more vicious than that, doesn't he? He was like the size of a dog and it was furry and feathery. Yep. I think we should be just like him. He kind of skipped around and he had his big wings. We're gonna go in circles and skip around. Keep skipping, keep skipping, use those arms. Good, keep going like that Velociraptor. Oh, that's fun, isn't it? Get those arms going. Get skip with the Velociraptor. I think I want to be a Velociraptor all day. That might be what I decide.
to be. Maybe I'll give a Velociraptor next year for Halloween. Oh, well, it's tiring being a Velociraptor. What do you think we should be next? Ooh, we're still in the late Cretaceous period. But you know which famous, famous, famous dinosaur? Who's that guy? That's the T-Rex. Whoa, he's the giant lizard king. He's a tyrant and a scavenger. And he was a fast runner. Had you any idea of that? He doesn't look like he'd be fast. He looks strong, but he was a fast runner. Let's get those knees up. He has little tiny arms, little tiny arms. So he, he ran all legs, I'm, all legs. I'm slower without my arms. Yeah, I know, I need my arms to really get some pumping, but you couldn't win if you were a T-Rex. He was about 13 feet tall and weighed about nine tons. He was the largest known predator. Keep those knees going. Oh, we're the T-Rex, we're gonna take a break. We're gonna walk slow. Big, big, big steps. Oh, we're shaking the whole ground. Oh, I see a predator. Let's go get it, let's go get it. Get those knees up. Run, 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 run. The late Crustaceous period is pretty cool too. I think the next one everybody is going to be familiar with also. You want to see what it is? Are you ready? Tell me what you think he looks like. What do you think this guy looks like nowadays? Like a rhinoceros, I think. He looks like a rhinoceros, but he's a triceratops, right? And you know what triceratops mean? Three horned face. He had two horns here and one horn here. And the cool thing about him is he liked to eat plants, but he was a fighter. He was a, he was a powerful guy. And we're gonna pretend like, like somebody's coming at us, just like the dinosaurs would come after him, and we're gonna push him away. I'm gonna switch and push really fast. Keep pushing those legs back. Oh, we're using our big three horns on our head to push him back. Good. Good job. Keep pushing. Let's slow it down and push. Big push. Big push. Big push. Use those arms and use those legs. Okay, one more time. Let's speed it up. Push, 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 push. Good. Excellent job. Let's go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, good job. I think we won that one, right? Oh, that was good. All right, are you ready for a new one? I find this one really interesting. This guy, this guy, look at his, look at his front legs. His front ones are way bigger than his back. And he is called a brachiosaurus. Brachiosaurus. Yeah, you want to know what's similar to a brachiosaurus, like where brachio comes from? So our arms up here, this bone is, is called that, but not the saurus part, okay? So the front is the same thing, the brachiosaurus, meaning really strong front legs. And he couldn't stand on his back legs like a lot of other dinosaurs. So we are gonna be just like him with a bear walk. And we're gonna have our body up and we're gonna walk forward in the bear walk. And then let's walk backward with the bear walk. Or instead of bear walk, we can call it the brachiosaurus walk. Keep going. Let's go forward again. I think I'd get tired if I had to use my front arms all, all the time instead of my legs, right? What do you think? And let's go back again. Oh, good job. Well, let's get a big, big, big high five to everybody. 
Oh. All right, we are gonna pick three dinosaurs to redo. Does everybody, anybody have a favorite? Here's what I wanna see. Like you have a favorite, what's your favorite? Hold on one second, Yav. Okay, what's your favorite one? My name is not Yav, it's you. You. And my favorite dinosaur is a T-Rex. A T-Rex, all right, so we're gonna do the T-Rex again. We're gonna let everybody pick one out, okay? So you, we're gonna do you with the T-Rex for you. Okay, get ready. Get ready, everybody get some water, and then we're gonna be the T-Rex again. Get ready for your T-Rex. Okay, so we've got those starting on all fours. Everybody down on the all fours. And we're going to do that jump squat all the way up and land back on all fours. Good. We're going to do 10 more of those. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Okay, who else has a favorite? Mason, how about you? What's your favorite, Mason? The Spinosaurus. The Spinosaurus. Okay, is everybody ready to be a Spinosaurus? The Spinosaurus was the swimmer. He was swimming and he was push up. Alternate that back and forth. Keep alternating those arms. Good. And let's do those push ups on our knees. Arms out. Let's count for 10, 9, 8, head up, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Let's do one more set of those. Let's do our swimming. Alternate those arms. Alternate those legs. Three, two, one, and back to your push up. We're going to do 10 again. Let's see if you've got it. Eight, seven, six, five. Feed with your chest. Four, three, two, and one. All right. Awesome, Spinosaurus. Okay, let's go to May. May, what's um, your favorite one? I don't remember, but um, the, the one that jumped really high and he looks really cute. The skunk, was it the, the, the one that we did, the star jumps? Yeah. The star jumps? Okay. We're going to get him on. We're going to get him on. Where is he? Yeah. He looks like that one, huh? Let's see, where is he? Where is he? Where is the brontosaurus? There we go. There we go. Okay, we're going to do 10 star jumps. Get ready. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, and one. Very nice. Okay. Let's see. Next, we're going to go to Siva and Sebastian. You guys want to each pick one? Um, Sebastian isn't here right now. My mom confronted him for bringing dinosaur dolls, and it actually was kind of annoying and embarrassing. So anyways, the Apiosaurus, the last one, 
I think I really liked that one. The very last one we did at the very end? Yes. Okay, one second. So now that we're doing that bear walk again, we're going to go forward and back. Mm -hmm. Forward all the way across. Back all the way across. And forward all the way across. And backward. And last time forward. And all the way back. Very nice. Okay, who else do we have? We're missing a couple kiddos. Let's see. Uh, I think we've got everybody now. Everybody that's still here. All right, so let's do our stretches. Are you guys ready? All the way down on the ground. Legs straight out in front. Reach all the way out. Reach towards your toes, try to tickle those toes. Big, big breath. Nice job, Mason. Take a big inhale. Exhale and reach. Oh, you guys all look great. Let's go backwards from 20. Okay? 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Now we're going to make our bird wings feet together. Push those knees out to the side and sit up nice and tall. So birds are what we still have left of dinosaurs. And birds are warm-blooded. So the birds had to change a little bit to go from dinosaurs to being 100% birds. But do you know what happened to all the dinosaurs and why they're not here anymore? Remember how we talked about how they are cold-blooded, so they need the sun, and a meteor hit Earth 65 million years ago and blocked the sun from the dinosaurs, and they couldn't, they got too cold. So they didn't have any winter coats, apparently, or boots, probably, or gloves, or hats. It'd be hard to fit a dinosaur. Okay, one foot on the floor, one knee bent, other ankle across the knee. But the mammals, the mammals survived because they were warm-blooded. The birds survived because they were warm-blooded. I'm pretty warm-blooded. I prefer to be warm places too. Maybe I should have been a dinosaur. I like spring. It's so too hot in your pot. No, I like hot. I like really hot. Okay, let's switch sides. I can't wait until it's really hot again. Push that knee away from your body, sit up nice and tall. We're stretching out the outside of our legs. Good, take a big inhale. Exhale and push that knee away from your body a little bit. And bring it all the way up to standing position. Okay, we're gonna stretch the front of our legs or our quadriceps. Would you remember when we used words with quads today? Quadrupeds, those were the ones that walked on four legs. And this is our quadriceps, which is a muscle that has four heads. I thought if, I bet Tyrannosaurus Rex couldn't stretch this way. If they had little tiny arms, they wouldn't be able to reach like that. That'd be really hard. Good thing we're not a Tyrannosaurus Rex, huh? Push that hip forward, stand up nice and tall. And switch to the other side, grab one foot behind, knees together. Knees together, push, keep pushing that hip out. My favorite one, was the one that looks like a bird, the second bird one. What is the name of that, Taylor? What was the second bird? The one that's closest to the dinosaurs now. Pterosaurus. Pterosaurus? Pterosaurus. It's got a PT, right? 
Okay, now we're gonna take one leg behind, lunge forward, push that heel to the ground. All your weights on that front leg. And bring it in a half step and sit forward. Both knees are bent. Yeah, error after that one. That was my favorite. Why don't we skip and use your arms? Okay, switch to the other leg. I think I'm gonna do that all day too. Push your heel down to the ground. Put all your weight on your bent knee. Oh, the Velociraptor. Oh, that, yeah, the Velociraptor. That's my favorite. That didn't sound right. Okay, bring it in a half step. I was counting on you to tell me. Yeah, the Velociraptor. I want to be a, that's what I'm going to be for Halloween next year. Velociraptor. I'm going to learn how to fly. Okay, grab both hands behind, straighten out your arms, lift your chin up, and bring your arms away from your body. Whew. We went from 250 million years ago to 65 million years ago to back to 2020. That's a long time. Really long time. Okay, now we have to pat ourselves on the back because we did such a great job today. Going back to prehistoric times and roaming with the dinosaurs. And we're gonna switch our arms and pat ourselves on the back. I want you to say something really nice to yourself. I love myself. Yeah, tell yourself something really good, something you're proud of yourself for doing. I helped mom today, put all the dishes away. Or I had my room nice and clean. I did all my work. I did all my work without being bothered, without being asked to do it. Anything you can think of. And then give yourself a great big hug and say, I am so thankful to my body for letting me move today. Thank you. I love you. And a big hug from Coach Tiffany and a big hug from Maddie and a high five. Good job, you guys. Give yourself a great big hand. Oh, sweetie. Yeah, sweetie. I'm thinking of a virtual hug. You want to know, you know what it's called a virtual hug? Yeah. Yeah, it is a virtual hug. <laughs> there you go. Bye, sweetie.